The supernator muscle has two motor points. One's going to end up being distal from lung 5, and the other one's going to actually be located at large intestine 9. So let's take a look here. So from lung 5, we know that's going to be in the cubital crease here on the radial side of the bicipital tendon. If we drop inferior 1 to 1 and a half soon, just depending on the size of the patient, and then we go to the radial side one soon. Now, palpate and you'll feel the brachioradialis. From that brachioradialis at this location, you'll divide the brachioradialis and you'll fall right into a space. Now, from this space here, if we just keep massaging that tissue, keep massaging that tissue, okay, separating the brachioradialis. Okay, now I can have the patient, which is in supine, he's in supination right now, he's going to go into pronation, and now going to supination, and I can feel that tissue popping up. I'm going to adjust my finger. I feel a little bit more here from supination. Now into pronation. There we go. Okay, so then the needle technique would be looking at the supinator from this location, which is one, one and a half, and a half soon lateral, separating the space between, between the brachioradialis and opening that tissue up toward that bone. So you're going to be kneeling perpendicular, and you saw how I found that supinator by going to pronation and supination to the skin directly toward that radius. Now let's be mindful that the brachial artery is going to be traveling along that pericardium channel, so we want to make sure that we're not kneeling deep into the pericardium channel in this region. So the needle technique for this particular point would be right toward that radius. Now we can also needle the supinator based on large intestine 9. So large intestine 9 find large intestine 11, which is going to be at the end of the transverse cubital crease, to large intestine 5, we know that this is going to be 12 soon. So large intestine 9 is going to be 3 soon inferior because the space between 11 and 10 is too soon. So from large intestine 5 to large intestine 11, let's divide that in half. There's our 6 mark. Right? So then now if we divide 11 and the halfway point in half, that will be 3 soon, which will be large intestine 9. Large intestine 9, 3 soon down from large intestine 11. So again, let's feel for that brachioradialis. I can quickly do a little manual muscle test, a resistive test for the brachioradialis. I'm going to have the patient just press up against me here, and that brachioradialis, get a little bit harder, everybody, and that brachioradialis pops right up here. All right, so then now I'm just going to separate between the brachioradialis and the extensor carpi radialis longus and press right into that radial bone, which is going to be pretty darn tender for him. And I can feel that the supinator muscles start to pop up when he goes into supination. Pronation is lengthening. Supination, there it is right there. I'm going to needle here at large intestine 9 directly toward that radius. So we've located large intestine 11, we've located large, large intestine 9, which is 3 down from 11. We've identified where the brachioradialis is. Now we're going to just slide our finger right in that crevice between the brachioradialis and the extensor carpi radialis longus. Separate that tissue there. Separate the tissue, and I can feel that radius. All right, so then now, moving into supination, I feel the muscle pop up. Pronation, I feel it sliding. I feel the muscle pop up into supination. All right, so the needle technique is going large intestine 9 directly toward the radius. And then we propagate. This muscle is innervated by the posterior interosseous nerve or the deep radial nerve, which is a branch. The superficial nerve goes to the large intestine channel. And the deep branch comes down the posterior interosseous nerve, or deep radial synonymous, which then goes into the arcade of frost for the supinator syndrome. And that's a lecture that we have in this particular program, in this particular module. This is going to be supinator at large test 9. Let's take a look at how we're going to needle the supinator from the uh, lung channel. Lung five, we drop down one and a half. 
we move to the radial side a half, maybe three quarters of sun. Sometimes it's one sun, depending on the size of the patient. Feel for the radius, that's gonna be your key. Now we're gonna separate the brachioradialis here. All right, so on this side of the brachioradialis. Okay, and I can have the patient pronate and supinate, and I can feel the muscle pop up with supination. We insert directly toward the radius. and propagate. 